What's up people on the internet? My name is Dog Geek and I'm here today to talk about JBL's brand new 1 series 1 of 4 reference monitors. So let's go ahead and unbox them. There we go. So these speakers are so tiny, you can actually pack them in a backpack and you can take them around and you can use them on the go. And these are specifically designed for people who have never experienced big studio monitors before or people like me who make music in their bedrooms and have a very confined space to work with or video editors or any kind of content creators who are looking to upgrade their sound. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna install these on my desk and I'm gonna run some great music through them and I'm gonna be back in a minute. Okay guys, I want you to see this. Look at how perfectly these JBLs have blended to my desk. It's a small desk, but it also left me with enough space to keep my existing speakers on the same desk so that I can have a nice comparison. I've made an Instagram post about this, so if you want to read that, please go check out my Instagram profile and you'll find a post with some more details about the speakers over there. So yeah, like these speakers have been giving me a lot more details than my previous speakers did and I'm loving the experience right now. So yeah, let's get back to more in another frame. Alright guys, so these speakers are pretty flexible when it comes to connectivity. You can use your RCA cables to connect it to CDJs or your laptop using the 3.5mm jack on the other side of this cable. You can also connect it with a subwoofer or a sound card using these high level balance TRS or uh, TS jack plugs and these uh, two cables they go to the other speaker and they power them and also comes with a power button and if you don't use these speakers for a long time they'll automatically shut down to save your speakers from any unexpected damage but it's a great safety feature to have and also these two uh, inputs can also work simultaneously so that's a great thing and on the front side you have the aux in and a headphone out so when you plug your headphone inside this guy this volume knob also becomes a controller for your headphones levels this is a great great feature to have so the sound is pretty clear they are loud they look damn good and they can sit in the tiniest spaces so the amount of sub bass that these can produce uh, it's limited because obviously there's no paired subwoofer with them but you can always get a subwoofer and run their cables through the subwoofers and you'll be sorted talking about the prices you can buy these speakers for 129 dollars in the us and if you go to the indian website you'll find these speakers for 16,000 rupees for a pair i'm gonna leave the website link in the description below so you can go and check that out now at this price point i think these totally are a pair to look out for and I'm sure they won't disappoint you. Now, if you have any questions regarding these speakers and my experience with them, comment down below and I'll be glad to help you guys. I hope you like what you see. Do subscribe and I'm gonna see you next time.